over. Um, see, it still does it. But at the moment, I just don't want to disturb the spirit. I'm letting the spirit get used to me being here. And then hopefully what we can do is try and coax it into some further activity. Whether it's um, more on the hexagon, which is both balls, the K2, whether we can get it to manifest or anything like that. In two, which is that in two on the hexagon. Are you having fun playing with that ball? Just give it a good push. Give it a real good push. Let's see if we can make it move. Use as much of my energy as you like. Give that ball a good push. As you see now, I'm really engaging with that spirit friend who said, ball. doesn't want to know. So the spirit playing that ball might not like me because I'm a male. Uh, see, this is the female part of the prison. So we might have had bad experiences here with regards to the male staff. Um, and that's why when I start trying to coach questions, it stops. The second I ignore it again, do uh, a piece of camera, look at hexagon, just whatever, just ignore what's going on, ignore the balls, ignore everything. So if there was um, a legitimate interference, like I said, we're showing you the the ball, you need to physically move them for, for me as a, as a human to set them off. I'm just going to see if we can let the spirit get used to me, basically. Um, the other thing I can do is, is I can leave the room and see what we can get going on as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step outside, okay, and if you can give that ball a push, or see this device here, the light bulb with a green light, push it over, but I'm going to step outside, because I know you're not a fan of me, so I'm just going to step out for you, okay? Is it okay if I come and sit on the floor with you for a little while? I'm just going to come over and sit on the floor. I'm going to come and sit round here again. As you can see me walking by this wall, didn't set it off. Um, what I'm going to do is Place that ball right next to it. And wait for the one that I've just moved to settle down. There we go. So I've put a ball right next to the one that you were really liking playing with. Any chance you can set that one off or push them together for me? They're very close. It's about five mil gap between the two balls. It's not very large at all. So feel free to 
to throw it round. We are in the late part of the um, Gallery of Justice Museum in Nottingham. We're sort of the lady who's just been over to Dark Cells. So we started off in the caves, unfortunately, there's no signal in there. We couldn't do a lot of Then we went to the Dark Cells, we went out to the Hangman's area. We're now in the ladies' quarters. And then what we'll do is once we've been and have a little break. What we'll do is we'll come back and we will be in the old cells and we will be in the main gallery for criminal for the criminal justice. So there's two here. You've got the civil court and you've also got the criminal court. The civil court um, is in a very big area. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the criminal because it's been reported to me by security staff and whatnot that shadow figures have been seen on the balcony. So what we'll do is we'll do a live on sitting the judges there maybe. We will try and see if we can put spirits in there to come come forth and come out to that. Have you noticed that the board stopped once I mentioned the hangman's area the board stopped? Right. You see, I've been sat here now for quite a few minutes and it's going off and off and off and off. We start mentioning other parts of prison that are a little bit darker um, and it stops. Are you still here with me? I'm sorry if I've upset you talking about other parts of the facilities here. Can you read like that hold up for me, please, to let me know you're still here? So now I've moved away, the hexcom started talking, which is great. So we've had and castle and strength were the last three words that come up. We will be leaving you soon, spirit, or spirits that are here. I really do appreciate your time and all the energy that you've used to make that ball light up. If there's any saddle. Okay. And castle strength and saddle. And the last four words in the hexagon. Let me leave the room. Let me see what's going on here. quite a lot of 
of something set that up. So what we're going to do now is, I think we're going to take a break for a little while. Um, I need to check my phone, so what I'm going to do is go on to one of our spare power banks and a wire, plug it into my phone. We're going to take a break for a little while and then just so we can go to the bathroom and have a drink, you know, have the uh, gas helps re energize, gas helps re invigorate it. And then um, we're going to come back out. So if you give us 20 minutes, half an hour, then we'll be back live with you guys and we will be in the old cells and we will be in the main compounds. There are two areas we will be in for the rest of the night. So we will be in there from, I'd say, probably about 12 to quarter past 12 when we start. And then we'll be there till about half two in the morning with, the, with those two locations. So the old cells, I've been told, there's a particular cell that's really great. So we will focus on that cell. We'll put our B camera out in the corridor. Um, and the judges area, you know, the actual main court itself, we've been told that there are shadow people who've been sitting there with kids or noise and like people spectating what's going on, you know, that sort of stuff. So which is absolutely great. Hopefully we can catch some of that. Hopefully we can coax some spirits into communicating. So I thank you all for watching. You see I'm still getting bored of it. Spirit here clearly doesn't like me, so we won't antagonize it, we won't do anything, we can just leave it in peace because it's the right thing to do. So, thank you, Mr. Quartier. So, thank you. I will hopefully catch you guys in a little while. So, we are back. We are now in the main court room for Tommy Quartier here. He's a judge out here. I'll tell you two just back up here at the moment. What also we're going to do is just come back a bounce to that way and just stand to give you everything to warm up. So let's see what we can get out that bounce. That's kind of a loud bounce. Don't know where that's from. So let's see what we can get out so what we've got going on now, right now joining me in the main courtroom at the museum, so please just get the chair and the table here, so I will eat well, I've got a board, here in front of me, we've got our B cameras pointing to the back balcony where the clock is, and obviously we've got a main camera pointing this way. So, it is a very large place for the ball coming up already, absolutely great, and we haven't even asked any questions yet. So, thank you for setting that ball off. It is greatly appreciated. Can you stop, please? If I get the other one, maybe we can do some yes no questions. Okay, can you stop now, please? Thank you very much. So, if you want to do some yes no questions, we can use this rule as yes and this rule as no. If that's okay. You don't have to do yes, no questions, that's perfectly fine. As you see there, straight away we've got this rule activated. Um, asking us to do yes, no questions, Bob can make them straight up. Well, thank you for letting me know you don't want to do yes, no questions. I do appreciate it. Um, but while I'm here, would you like to have any form of conversation with me? You would, perfectly great. As you can see, I'm a good five, six feet away from that box. Absolutely spectacular. That's great there. Um, so, yeah. So, my name is Paul. I mean, you know, no harm or disrespect. I'm here just to have a conversation. So, we can just get down two seconds. Camera is near the big camera, just advance up and running. 
the Holy Spirit in the heart of his back. Right. The spirit that's here, I mean, it's just filled you with. Any chance that you're still about? I know you said you didn't want to do yes no questions with me, but it'd be the easiest way for us to have a conversation. See if we can get spirit to reset off these capsules for me. Thank you. 
So text connect is now fired up. Important. So straight away, we've had important come up. And we've got the ball going up as well. Do that stop flashing and going up again. It's going to place this back down. I hope that's okay. What I'm going to do is get my ball going as well. Now, I'm going to place this device down. Okay. I know that I'm using that ball as no, but unfortunately I'm going to place it down anyway. Bring it to my corner. You can use that to talk to us. So my name is Paul. Can I have your name please? Was you convicted of a crime here? to work here. We're getting no response. So he was convicted of a crime here then if he didn't work here. We've got no EVPs recorded there, um, which is a shame. But so what we was doing is when we first came in, we were first getting set up. Um, I had just the one ball here, and it was going off. And then that ball was up by the ink well. So I then moved it down here, and basically said, look, can we do some yes, no question? And all I've been now got in is a no response. So I do that. And no response again. Did you used to come here and sit up and What's that noise? That's what. Did you used to come and sit here and watch people being convicted of crimes? Did you used to do that to pass the time? So I know you don't want 
want to do yes, no questions, but I'm here and I'd like to have a conversation with someone. So if you don't want to talk to me, is there any chance that another spirit can come forward and have a conversation with me, rather than you monopolising the time if you don't want to talk? 